So the first thing I'm going to have you do in your notebook, so get your notebook out. Yep. Get your notebook out. I don't know. I'll watch that. Okay, your notebook. Get it up, head it up. Triangles, 11, 2. And what I want you to do is I want you to write down as much as you can remember about triangles. Now, don't tell me they have three sides because I already know that. You can write anything down about a triangle you want. Just, you don't even have to write a sentence. You can just, like, a keyword. Okay? Riley? Okay, no, 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 no. Just write. Just think. Just think. Just think. What do you know about triangles? Other than they have three sides. That doesn't count. Alright, now listen up. Yes, ma'am, Riley. You're going to say yours? What were you going to say? Quadrilateral. No, because the quadrilateral has four sides. Equilateral. Okay. Oh, equilateral? Yep. Scalene. Okay, so that's area we're not going to talk, even talk about areas today. <laughs> All right, so let me explain something to you guys, okay? If you did not know, in geometry, there's like five levels of geometry knowledge, okay? Uh, how many of you would have put right away it has three sides? Probably everybody in here, okay? Now listen, that is basic knowledge that a kindergartner would know, right? Right? Okay, so that's like a level zero. There's five levels, that's like zero, one, two, three, four, okay? So, and even like if you would have said, well, a triangle looks like a slice of pizza. That's the level zero. You are naming the most basic things, the basic things a kindergartner would know, okay? Now think about this. There's levels with zero, one, two, three, four. Now what about those other four levels, okay? They're harder, and the harder and the more things you learn about geometry and shapes, the, the higher the level you're going to get to. Now here's the deal. Why do you think your knowledge of shapes is like a kindergartner's right now? You've never really studied geometry before, like ever. It's at the end of all your math books. And you know what? You're lucky if you even get through a whole math book in here. Right? Huh? You didn't? We didn't either, really. Probably not. I can't remember, I guess. But we did get to geometry. I mean, that was something we did hit. Um, but think of when you were younger. How often did you talk about shapes and what they were, what they involved? And like, yeah, I know a rectangle looks like a door, but what more about a rectangle? Okay, four sides. That's level zero. <laughs> well, we're getting there. Okay, probably a level zero, level one, maybe. Just letting you know that. Yeah, but. Guys, that's okay because you've never had that exposure. Now, when you get into geometry like uh, your sophomore year or in high school, um, the levels will hopefully go up because you start to understand and reason better than you did now, okay? What's that? Yeah, geometry. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with triangles. We're going to start with one of the most basic shapes, and that's a triangle. Now, some of this stuff you've heard before, and some of it will be new to you, okay? So when we talk about a triangle, we can classify it two different ways. Okay, we can classify by sides and by angles. So what I want you to write down in your notebook is sides. That's the first thing I want you to write, sides. And then we're going to talk about the three different ways that we can classify by sides. Okay? And you guys were kind of talking about these already. So equilateral and isosceles. And if you want to draw a picture, you can draw a picture. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words. Easier to see a picture than read the definition. And you might notice those lines in there. See those lines on the sides there? Anybody got a guess? Anybody remember what these are, Maddie? It means that they're the same length. Right. 
And so that's one way that they're going to tell you some sides are the same length. Another way, they might just tell you, oh, guess what? These are all 10. That's another way they could tell you if the sides are the same length. They might tell you what the side length actually is. So there's a few different ways they're going to tell you the sides today. They're going to maybe do those marks, hash marks, tick marks, whatever you want to call them. Or they're actually going to give you the legit side length, okay, to let you know if it's a neat collateral. Isosceles, this is when two sides are the same length. And notice I have two marks. No sides are the same length. Um, sometimes you might see triangle or any, any shape for that matter. And it might look like this. Okay, so now what sides are the same length? Yep. Just the ones with the two marks, right? So, and this could be, you know, it's not, yeah, then it's not an isosceles anymore. Or an you know, equilateral, it's an isosceles now. Um, so you just be aware that if they have the same amount of hash marks or tick marks, those are the ones that are the same. Then our last one is scalene, and this is what you talked about, scalene. And this is when no sides are the same length. It's, that's just an example. Why? No sides. You want to put R in there? Sorry. Um, now, if they don't have any tick marks, just assume it's scalene. They're going to tell you if the sides are the same length. Don't automatically assume, well, they in the book, they kind of look like they are, so it's probably an isosceles. Don't do that. They're going to tell you if they're the same or not. Don't guess. Because is there always, there's always human error in guessing. And in the book, well, let's not even do that. They're going to tell you by the marks or the sides or whatever. So don't assume that they're the same size. If they look like it, they'll tell you. Okay, so then the next page, I want you to, or the next part, we're going to talk about the angles. So ways to classify by sides or equilateral, uh, isosceles, scalene. Now the first one is acute. Good job. Yeah. So let's talk. Let's let's talk about no. Let's talk about acute first. Let's talk about acute first. Yeah. Aww, that's cool. <laughs> Are you an uncle? I don't know what I'd call you then. An uncle or grandpa? I don't really know what to call you. <laughs> I don't know. All right, acute. So this is when all angles in the triangle are less than 90 degrees. So all the angles in the triangle are less than 90 degrees. Obtuse, Maddie was the next one she was saying. Obtuse is when one angle is greater than 90. Nope, you can't have all. <laughs> uh, and then the last one is right. No, and then right is another, it's a one right angle in the triangle. Yeah, part of it. Okay, part of it. Okay, so acute, obtuse, and right. Now here's the deal. In your homework today, they're going to give you a triangle, and they're going to tell you to um, classify by sides and angles. That means you have to classify by the sides. You have to say if it's either acute, up to, or uh, by sides, if it's either equilateral, isosceles, or scalene. And you have to name one of these. So, for example, let me give you an example. Everybody done with this one? So, wait. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, let's look at this one. Here's an example. They would give you this one. They would tell you to name it two ways, by sides and angles. I don't care which one you do first. If you just want to do it by the sides, because that's what you have in your notebook, that's fine. Sides, I know this is equilateral. What about my degrees? Acute. Could you say it's an equilateral acute? Sure, it doesn't matter, as long as you have both words in there. Okay? What about this one? First of all, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Let's talk about the sides first. Galen, yep. And right, yeah. Obtuse, obtuse, and isosceles. I never know how to spell isosceles, so that's how I always do it. What's the matter? <laughs> Somebody asked me before, they said, is every right going to be a scalene triangle? Okay, what do you think? No, because watch this. These two could be the same, right? So not every right triangle is going to be scalene, so don't get that in your head either. Okay, so when they ask you for these things, you have to have two answers. If you don't, I'm going to take some off, I mean, because that's what it's asking you. So what are you going to have to do today? Two and redirection. That's just a blanket statement for everybody. <laughs> redirection. Okay, let's talk about angles in a triangle. All triangles have 180 degrees. You have to know that. All triangles, you did in your first few, good for you. All triangles have 180 degrees. And some people are like, why is that? Last year I actually showed you this. I actually took a triangle and I cut them off. Yeah, and I did that for seventh grade today, or not today, probably a while ago, a long time ago actually. So if you are still not sure about this, I'll show you in a drawing up here. So let's say, <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway just to take our work off. Um, so let's say this is my piece of paper, okay? Let's say this is my piece of paper. And I cut off every edge of this, or every corner. So let's say I cut it here, I cut it here, and I cut it here. So now I can actually piece these together just like what I did over here. So if I, I can move this one here, I can take this one and turn it a little bit and put it here. And my other 45 could fit right here. Guess what? It makes a straight line. And that's even show, it's evident right here too, what I did with the 7th graders. It makes a straight line. That's why every single triangle is 180 degrees. You could do that for every triangle. I showed you with the right triangle. You could do it with the obtuse one I had back here. You could do it with a cute one I had here. Every single one is going to line up to a straight line. Okay? That's why it's 180 degrees. So I just think that's cool. I wish somebody would have told me that when I was young, but I never got it. So, part of today is they're going to give you a triangle, and it's your job to find the missing angle. Okay? So, for example, I know you did this last year, so this should not be new to you at all. So, A is 34 degrees. B is 121, C is a question mark. How can I figure out what C is, Hunter? Sure, I can do this. I can do 34 plus 121 plus X equals 180. Put these two together, I think it's 155 plus X equals 180. And X, if I minus, it's just 25. So that's 25 degrees, okay? Tricky. Remember doing this last year? A little bit? Okay. No? You do? Okay, so let's look at this one. This one's pretty easy. If F is 45 and H is 45, what does this have to be? 90? Okay, now I'm going to show you something else they might do to you today. Okay? So let's pretend these aren't here. Okay? And let's say I do this. They're going to ask you to find what X is. Now, what is it assuming you know? That it's, that it's 90. So it's not going to give you another number. It's just going to assume you know that that box means 90 degrees. Okay? So then you say, well, okay, well, I know 35 plus this 90 plus this X equals 180. And then you would solve from there. Is it 55? I don't even know. Oh, 55. Okay. Any questions on that? So if they don't give you another one, assume they are assuming you know that's 90. Don't ever just assume anything's 90, though, <laughs> because unless, unle unless it has this, unless it has this, if it does not have that box, don't assume, because it could be 91 degrees. Would 90 degrees and 91 look really close? 89 and 90 are going to look really close. So unless it has this box, do not assume it's 90. Okay? This is new to you this year. Okay, so make sure you get this written in your notebook because this is going to be something you're going to want to know. This is new. It's not. The measures of angles of a triangle are in a ratio of 1 to 4 to 7. What are the measures of the angles? Now, 
Now, in the book, it's not going to give you a drawing. But I drew it so you could kind of see what one would look like. Okay? The book is just going to have a story problem like that. But I'm going to show you how to solve So what do we know about a triangle again in the degrees? It all equals what? 180. So I know that 4x plus 7x plus 1x equals 180. Can I put together some things? Sure, let's put this together. It should be 12x equals 180. Divide by 12. Divide by 12. X is going to be... I think 15. Okay. Okay, now wait. I didn't answer the question. The question says, what are the measurements of the angle? What am I going to do with this now? I, I'm going to put in for all the x's. So questions like this are going to have three answers. I'm going to put in for this x, and this x, and this x. So I know this is going to be 15 already. 7 times 15 would be 105, I believe. And then 4 times 60. Oh, 1 times 15 is 15. Yep, I, or I would just write 60, 105, and 15. That's all I'd even worry about. I don't even worry about... 1 equals this, 7 equals this. I would just put 60, 105, 15, and I'm good to go after that, okay? Okay, so here's the deal. Notice, see how this is how they give it to you? What did I all medically, what did I have in there, though? An X with it. So make sure you stick an X with it so you can figure out what each X is, and then you can substitute back. And if I would reduce all of them, I would get this right here, 1, 4, and 7. Okay, I want you to do one by yourself. Here you go. No. <laughs> that's okay. You know what? No, the other class asked that too, and I didn't even think about that. It's not always 1, 4, and 7. It might be a ratio of 2, 3, and 5. It might be a ratio of 1, 1, and 10. I don't know. Yeah. No, that's a good point. I should have said that because the other class was also not that. Okay. Shh. Don't forget, you got to go back and see what each one is then. 2x, 3x, 5. If you want to draw a picture, you can draw a picture. So, what did x equal? It's equal 10. And then, so you had a, wait, right? No, 18. Should be 18. And then you're going to substitute in. So 36 should be an answer. Um, let's see, 54 should be an answer. And 90 should be an answer. Any questions on that? Okay, that's going to be in your homework today, so make sure you remember how to do that. Uh, one more thing I need to show you is this. Okay? Now listen, there is such a thing called an exterior angle on a triangle. Okay? It's just one of the lines extended. And it creates another angle on the outside. So what we have to do is, so it's asking us to solve for x, okay? But it's not giving me this one right here. Can I use this to figure out what this one is, though? Because what kind of angles are these two? Yes, yeah, supplementary, remember? Two that add to 180. So if I know that this plus this is 180, what does this have to be? It has to be 20. So do you see how I figured that out? 
I had to use 180 because if this is a straight line and this is 160, I have to use that to figure out what my last part is. Now can I solve for the x? Yeah. So 30 plus 20 plus x equals 180, and I think it ends up to be 130. Okay. Now I'm going to do another one of these, and I want you to figure it out yourself. Okay. Okay. So let's do something that looks like this. And let's do uh, 40 here. Let's do uh, let's see, x here. And let's do this as, I don't know what this is going to come out to be, guys. So let's make this one 50. I don't know what it's going to come out to be. So actually, it should come out OK. You're not dividing or anything. Should be fine. Yeah, should be good. You gotta find use that exterior angle to find what that other one is first, and then you can solve for your x. So what would this one be then? 30, because you know this plus this has to be 180. Then let's see, 70 plus x equals 180. This should be 110. So, any questions for me today? Pretty simple. You learned a lot of this last year. A lot of it.